at 604 this morning for the 10th consecutive year. More than 200 business and community leaders have given up their beds mm. warm at home to spend the night sleeping on the streets of New Orleans in mm -hmm. pretty chilly weather, yeah. all to raise money for Covenant House. And definitely a different perspective, all for a great cause and more awareness. Covenant House, a haven for at-risk youth here in the city. And as WDSU reporter Heath Allen shows us, a night sleeping on the street is a real eye-opener for sure. Heath, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, it's an eye opener. It's really only a taste, if you will, of what so many young people face on the streets of New Orleans. We talk about the homeless. We talk about the homeless a lot. A lot of times we don't realize that a lot of the homeless really are their teens. They're young people. They find themselves out on the street for whatever reason uh, and, and need help. So this one purpose, one night here at Covenant House, it's a fundraiser. Business leaders, community leaders, raise money and then come out here and sleep on the sidewalk in an effort to uh, raise awareness, as you will. Madeline Lamb Landrew, longtime board member uh, on the bench. You've been involved with this. Why is it so important for people you know, to get this taste? Yeah, it's 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 important for us to walk where these young people walked because there are lots of policies and laws and things we have in place that are just barriers to children growing up and knowing healthy, loving, safe families. And it's not enough to just look at them as a homeless person. They are a child, right? They're children with needs that have gone unmet. And they could be your child yeah. or there but for the grace could look, be you. Look, you know, mental illness, addiction. I mean, I was, I was born into the jackpot of families, right? Mm. Loving, connected family. And some of these kids just don't have that opportunity, but they can learn it and they understand how good they are and they come to Covenant House and understand that and we get to meet them and walk with them. So it's a really pretty special night. You know, the sleep out is part of it, but the conversation around homelessness and around addiction and trafficking and what we as leaders can do is really a significant part of the evening. It's amazing how many people turn out, how many, the, the heart of this community. Yeah, it's really a special, if you've not done this, you know, you, you should take a moment to do it because you never get, you. Uh, this is my 10th year sleeping mm. out. It never gets, it's never the same. But what is the same is the city doesn't die. The city doesn't go to sleep. It's noisy. So if you think about how can you live on the street and then function the next day and be productive or go to school, and that's what these young people are doing. Through the hardest of circumstances, they're making their way, and the least we can do is support them through it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Madeline Andrew, longtime board member here at Covenant House. And talking about what you could do to support uh, the Goal this year, uh, fundraising wise, was $650,000. Well beyond that now, 683. I, at last count that I saw, probably pushing closer to 700,000 at this point. This community pulling together to help young people impacted uh, here in the city.